Look, let's face it, you pretty much got your head up your ass if you don't recognize that the way that people who have power in societies keep societies in line and manage them is control and fear. And control by fear and fear by control. So no matter how you slice it, no matter what um, conspiracy, no matter where you are on the continuum of conspiracy, it's all a plot and, and a global elite, blah, 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 or that's a bunch of, of hogwash. They would never be that smart or organized to be able to collaborate on that type of sham against all of humanity, blah, blah, blah. They're not trying to vaccinate us all. They're not trying to chip us all. They're not trying to be big brother 1984 and get in all of our business and have a camera and a phone, a, a, a microphone in all of our homes and be accessed to everything we say and do, everyone we relate to, every penny we earn and spend, what we buy, how long we spend on what websites, where we get our information, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, wait, that's all out there? It's just too convenient. It's too obvious. It's right in our face that, of course, people in power are going to manipulate when they have the opportunity. And they have more and more and more and more. They've been developing incredible tools for it in the industrial age, in the technolog technological age, and in the age of terrorism and the age now of pandemic. So this is like the ultimate uh, version of Fear and control, using fear to control, keeping people in their homes, imprisoned in their own homes at risk of fine and and um, police brutality if they're caught on the streets. You've seen the videos. You know what's going on in the, around the world. It's locked down with a capital L. And yes, there's a virus. Yes, some people are dying. Yes, if people want to take precautions, absolutely go ahead. You have the right and hopefully you have access to the gear and you can take all the precautions at whatever level you want. I saw a video that was passed around of a doctor showing you how to sterilize your groceries like you're preparing them for surgery and preferably leave them outside for three days. And then like, okay, you can go, you can do that and protect yourself to the hilt as much as you feel is something worth doing. But at the end of the day, the powers that be, whoever they are, world leaders, um, <laughs> corporate interests, uh, secret governments, whoever else, whatever else entities black budgets are spending on around the world and drug money is funding or whatever is whatever. With the entire world on lockdown, afraid to come out of their homes and willing to be controlled by their governments, by the authorities over whom, you know, to whom they've handed over their liberties and their freedom of movement, of thought, of speech. It's, it's becoming illegal to post what's deemed as propaganda on, on the internet, of all things, our information superhighway. So no matter how much you think this is a conspiracy, we're doped. And whatever's going on, it's just a little too convenient, a little too obvious, and the trail and track record is just too littered with breadcrumbs for us to act like there's no connection and there's nothing going on here and there's no power grab and there's no interest in nefarious activities with our information and our privacy and our lives. And, you know, maybe the, the S hasn't hit the proverbial fan yet. Maybe we are literally being prepared for this type of regulated behavior. Where does it go? I can't predict the future. I don't try, I wouldn't try. So I'm just connecting some dots and analyzing some data that I'm gather gathering and things when I see them with my own eyes and trying to make sense of them. And I don't, I don't have the answers and I'm not saying I'm right about anything, but I'm saying for me, it sure feels like, wow, clearly, Every society I've ever heard of or read about has been corrupt in some way, in many ways, in every way they can. Power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. And there is massive power grab all over that probably wasn't just put there freely and by nature and by coincidence or chance or, you know, some virus trying to be a biological tool to cull population that, that grew too large. I, uh, I don't know. It's not killing enough people for that. <laughs> Frankly, you know, we lose a lot more to cigarettes and, and, uh, and a whole host of other crazy things. So just think about what might be actually happening and allow yourself to go there. Have the courage to face 
what you would love to deny, but mm, can't resist suspecting. In the end, go with love. Let's uh, figure out how we can do more unification, more um, help and in service of one another, and more stepping away from the matrix, the grid, the economic markets, and figure this out in our own way with our own communities, as well as do whatever work we can figure possible and um, worthwhile for the bigger picture, for the big change, whatever that may be, uh, to be more in the favor of life, of humanity, of survival, of thriving. And, um, you know, God, do we all really want whatever's in the vaccinations? Do we all really want the, the ID chip? Do we all really want it to be just so simple to bleep, uh, you know, well, really facial recognition and, and our whole record and not to mention public records and private records, but private just data, who we communicate with and, and even, you know, keyword searches for what we talk about. Do we want to live in a surveilled world? We already are. For how long do we want to live in a surveilled world? Do we want to go down this path and let it get worse? Is there anything we can do to change courses? If anyone has any ideas, chime in. I'm looking for them. I'm looking to support and participate in them, the ones that have legs. Show me people who get it, really get it, smart people who've connected dots that really make sense and who care and who are doing it because they just want something better for themselves, their family, their tribe, their community, and their species. And then the ones who are doing something about it, getting out there and making uh, a success of reaching people, uh, providing big help without big uh, toll or expense. And uh, let's see if we can figure out how to make the big changes, like get off of money, get away from this crazy business thing that we, we've gotten ourselves so deeply uh, intertwined and wound into over these past thousands of years that it isn't serving us right now. And gosh, when you really think of the things we can do without it, it kind of makes you want to work towards figuring out another way. So these are some thoughts that were on my mind. And, um, you know, find the love. Find your path to harmony. Love really does have some secret powers for us. The more we can reprogram ourselves to never speak from that place of fear, that negative emotion that's going to make us say something that's not in our heart, that's not what we want to say and how we want to represent, and is not going to serve us or the people we're talking to in a way that's going to help move us forward on a loving path. So the more we can not speak the fear, hold back, take a deep breath, figure out what do I really want? What does my heart feel? What do I want to share with you right now? And how can I make the most out of this moment and create the most harmony? And then the more we can embrace in our lives that we cannot change the past. Let's not talk as though we can. Let's state right away when dealing with the past situations. I know I can't change this. What can I learn from it? And then have the conversation. We cannot predict the future. Let's not speak as though we can. Let's always keep ourselves and each other in check and in a way. Now, we can't predict the future, but what, what are we even talking about? Why? Are we just re re reacting emotionally to something we're afraid will happen in the future? And so we're speculating and projecting that, that concern into worst case scenarios or... Are we looking objectively at all kinds of data? And if we're going to predict the future outcomes, predict multiple and not all bad ones. Predict a bunch of things that could happen. The, the, the Superman to save the day and the, the, the devil who comes to, you know, trade your soul for a golden fiddle or whatever. <laughs> And then that final one is that we go through life and, and recognize the futility and the, the disruption to harmony that it causes when we attempt to change a, one another's behavior. So recognizing that we cannot change one another's behavior. So that gives us that impetus to actually connect with a person, work with them and figure out what do we want here how can we convey things in a way that will understand one another and be enrolled in supporting one another in those things so we don't have to try and do so much control and manipulation to get our plans going, which is what we're trying to do there. So these are just some of the tools that I use all the time and I highly recommend because it gets you out of that place of survival and fight or flight and reacting to things and into a place of 
open, expanded consciousness and imagination. Go with love. Thanks.